Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Before we get started, don't forget to click the subscribe button if you want more videos about coding interviews. So today in this video, we'll be solving the problem lead code majority element. So let's get started. So the problem is that they give us an array of integers of size n and they ask us to find the majority element of the array. And the majority element is an element that appears more than n divided by 2 where n is the length of the array or the size of the array so for example let's say we have this input array the n square will be 2 because the 2 occurred 4 times and 4 is bigger than the length of the array divided by 2 so to solve this problem we will use a hash table so we're gonna store the number as a key and the value will be the number of appearance of the number in the array then we're gonna set a condition that say once we have number or key in the hash table that have a value means number of of appearance bigger than the length of the array divided by 2 we will return the real number as a result so let's say we have this input array the first thing we need to do is to initialize a hash table then we're gonna loop over the input array and each time we're gonna store the number as key in the hash table and the number of appearance as a value so we start at 2 we put the number 2 as a key and the value as the number of appearance which are 1 then we move to the next number we have 2 so we check if we already have this number as a key in the hash table so here we already have it we increase the number the upper of appearance by one then we move to the next number so we have the number one and it's the first time we have seen it so we store it in the hash table and we give it a value one which represent the number of appearance in the array so we skip the next two ones because it's the same process and one in the hash table gonna have a value of three which represent the appearance of the one inside the input array so the same thing for the rest of the numbers in the array we already have the number two so we increment the value of the key number two by one and for the last number we repeat the same process so at the end we will have a hash table with the key number of two with a value four and the key number one with a value three so we loop another time over the input array but the difference here is in the second loop that we're gonna have a condition that check if the value of the key number in the hash table is bigger than the size of the array n divided by two so in this example the result will be 2 because the number of appearance of the value 2 is bigger than the size n divided by 2. So the time complexity for the solution is often where n is the length of the array or we can say it's because we are looping over the input array at each time storing an element in the hash table. And for the space complexity is often because we are creating a hash table that are related to the input array element so we are using a data structure to come up with a result or to store the output result. That's it guys so let's jump at coding the solution so first we initialize a hash table then we loop over the array and each time we check if the number is inside the hash table if it's not we store it in the hash table as a key and we give it a value one otherwise if it's already in the hash table we increment his value by one And after looping over all the numbers inside the array, we initialize another loop that iterate over the input array again. The difference here is that each time we will use the number to access the hash table and take the value and compare it to the length of the array divided by two. So the key that have a value bigger than the n divided by two, which is the length of the array will be the result and we return it. That's it guys. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.